Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. Today I'm going to be building with you guys a uh, replica of the first bow used in the Hunger Games. So if any of you have seen the movie, it's the bow that's in the first, you know, intro part where Katniss is hunting in the forest. And, uh, some people have called it the District 12 bow. And it's basically a bow that was made, if you follow the books, that was made by her father. What I really liked about the prop weapon in the movie is that it was actually a handmade wooden bow, which is kind of neat, and it was made by a you know, fairly well-known self boy. So what we're going to be doing today is making a bow that looks similar to it, and we're going to be doing that with PVC pipe. So what you're going to need is a Schedule 40 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. Uh, we're going to be cutting this one to 56 inches long so we're going to end up with a longbow style so sort of like a flat bow longbow style it's going to be a shorter bow you know, more compact and it'll come up you know right to about here you know all in all a good size bow it's going to be a really lightweight bow so it's a good prop weapon you know good for costumes or even if you're just you know, practicing your form, it's good to have a low weight bow to practice with. So what you want to do is take your pipe and you want to measure the center here, which is 28 inches, and then 3 inches out from center on both sides. And then you want to measure in 9 inches from both ends. Alright, so the first step is we're going to flatten the limbs, and I'm going to be using the adjustable flattening jig and I'll be showing you one way to use this. If you make one of these, if you have a regular flattening jig, we're going with three quarter inch blocks and you can flatten it however you like. So let's get started. Alright, so to flatten this bow, I'm going to be using clamps to hold my uh, flattening jig onto my flattening board and get that pressure to flatten. Now if you heat the bow properly, you should be able to flatten it with about 60 pounds of pressure or so. It doesn't take that much if the whole pipe is hot enough. And when we heat this up, you know, you're going to need to check because every single part of this one limb needs to be very pliable when it's heated up. Otherwise, if there's one cold spot, it'll keep the rest of it from, from flattening properly. And if you've got sections that are too cool, what will happen is you'll get these strange dips and ridges. So it's really important that you get a nice even heat. What I'm going to be using today is this. I, I call it a heating trough, but basically it's kind of like a gutter made out of, this is made out of cardboard and covered in aluminum foil. So you can use aluminum flashing or really anything that will reflect heat. And, you know, so you need something that's insulative that will keep the heat from getting through. And that way it won't damage any surfaces. And then a reflective surface that will actually allow you to heat the pipe more effectively, you know, more efficiently. Alright, so we're going to start off by heating one limb. And Let's go do that. Okay, so here we have the heating trough. I've got the bow in it. So for the method I'm using today, I'm actually going to be heating up to a little bit past center all the way to the end. Because what we're doing is we're going to be completely flattening both limbs and the handle and then reforming the handle. That way it's, you know, you're less likely to have a crease where the handle fades into the limb, which could be a point for the bow to collapse or break. Over here I've got my flattening board ready and my flattening jig all ready to go. I've got my clamps, so here we go. Alright, so once the pipe is hot enough, one way to tell that it's hot enough 
is if you take a glove finger or a towel, you should be able to press down all the way and completely flatten out sections of the pipe with just finger pressure. And then the pipe should pop back to its normal shape. And that's what will let you know that it's ready to go. So I'm just going to heat this a little bit more because it's already lost some heat in that time. And once I'm sure it's hot enough, I'm just going to take it, put it on that board, and then flatten it. So you take your flattening jig, place it right around center. Then you want to take your first portion here, your upper section. You want to make sure that's nice and tight and it's all set up. And you want to do the same thing to this side. So here it is, so I've got these two set up and I'm just going to let this cool. And once it cools down enough then I'm going to take this out and take everything off and I'm just going to check it for straightness.